when I grew up, the West End was a place that there wasn't much going on. First home goal in Cincinnati, There were no soccer teams in the West End, and so we've started uh, the West End Pride. This is a neighborhood right next to the stadium. To see them playing soccer at the grassroots level is uh, is pretty cool. So when I told them that they would be starting soccer, my youngest, she started talking to my phone. Google, show me soccer. So if in 10 years I find you, who are you going to play for? My city, FC Cincinnati. Welcome to Cincinnati's West End neighborhood. Now come 2021, this will be the new home for FC Cincinnati. Despite their stadium not opening for over a year, the club has wasted no time getting to know their new neighbors. When Carl Linder and I launched FC Cincinnati, we had three key pillars. One was to be a winning team, two was to be a, a family-friendly club, and then the third was to be visible and giving back in the community. We have an opportunity to really improve people's lives and make our community better, and that is in the core of our DNA as a club. So we want to use soccer to improve lives and to introduce soccer in the West End. This is West End Pride. Mm -hmm. That's the name of the team. I played here since the beginning, two seasons ago. What do you like about soccer? Everything. Like the movement, the way we, ru we run. It's like a good sport to me, like the best one. We train on Thursday afternoons. Hopefully we'll be de developing some kids to go to the academy. That's the plans, right? Yes, to that's, put that's roots the in the community. Right. You don't find the soccer getting that kind of reach out here. And they love it. They, they come out here and big smiles on their face. They're ready to play soccer and uh, it's a blast. I was excited because I felt like this was definitely a good opportunity for the kids. You know, especially keeping them out of trouble and keeping them in some type of activity. It's really nice. It's really nice just to get some of them involved in soccer. You know, it's a, a new avenue, something different that they can, you know, look forward to. The West End neighborhood is historically been considered the the first home place of African Americans in 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 Cincinnati. Anybody my age or older has roots in the West End. They have supported all the youth team programs in the West End. They made a major contribution to the youth football program. Simply put, they believe that youth and athletics is a good thing for kids. It really is an opportunity for boys and girls in, in the West End to get on a team. A lot of our supporters who are in the Bailey are the coaches of the teams. So they volunteered and they're carrying through that tradition of FC Cincinnati giving back and making the community better. Hands in, hands in, hands in, hands in. You gotta be loud. We're all together, all right? FCC on three. One, two, three. FCC! What do you think it means to some of these kids when you kind of pop in and you're like, oh, I grew up down there. And they're like, oh, I'm from right here. For me, it's cool because I never had this experience as a kid. Yeah. For kids here to have a have a soccer, a professional soccer team that they can look up to and admire and dream to be of um, gets me excited. So you but, come out here, you play soccer, and you make Instagram friends. Yeah, exactly. That's how I get all my followers for like, <laughs> I got like 5,000, like 4,900 are these kids. <laughs> Ever since I came in here, I saw guys, you know, on Instagram always doing appearances, always doing appearances. You can tell just off of that how important it is, like the community support is for the team. Our teams are the manifestation of our civic pride. The on-field success is gonna come for us. Year one is an expansion franchise. We didn't get the soccer part right, but I think most importantly, we got, we've gotten the community part right. And that gives us a platform to continue to build and grow in this community. And when the soccer success comes, it's going to be a really phenomenal thing to experience here in Cincinnati. Right now, FC Cincinnati is averaging one community event per day, and they have no plans of slowing down anytime soon. That's a wrap from Cincinnati. We'll see you on the next episode of Beyond the Stands, presented by Wells Fargo.